Hey folks, um, I've been asked by a few folk on YouTube um, to do a wee how-to on the FPV setup on my Phantom. So here goes, this is my first ever how-to video, so hopefully go okay. Anyway, we'll start with the kit I've got. Um, Phantom, obviously, I've already got my GoPro Hero 2 attached to it, and I'll explain this wee cable here um, in a little bit. Um, I've got my Dominator, Fat Shark Dominator video goggles. I have the Immersion RC uh, video transmitter. Um, antenna, these are the original antenna that come with the video transmitter and video receiver. And cables, you've got one cable that goes from the video transmitter to the balance plug on your LiPo for powering the video transmitter. And the other one is the GoPro live out cable from the GoPro into the video transmitter itself. Okay, um, to start with, we'll go. I uh, m mounted some Velcro, just normal sticky back Velcro, some a section on the video transmitter and another section on the bottom of the Phantom, just behind the GoPro mount. Um, quite simple. Um, the cables, you plug your GoPro out into the video transmitter. I find it easier to plug the cables in before sticking the transmitter on because there's not a lot of room back there. Um, then your power cable quite simply plugs in like so. Turn the Hero 2, uh, the Phantom sorry, upside down. A little bit of Velcro. We push to make sure it's, uh, it's on there. It's not going to fall off. And that's that. Next, take your cable from your live out and that plugs into the side of the GoPro in there and your LiPo balance plug will go into the battery and um, what I've done, if you can see that is I've actually cut out just a little notch on the side of the battery through there just for the, running the cable in Okie doke now you may see I'm using different antenna on the, the goggles and on the transmitter itself. These are SpiroNet uh, antennas. Um, they just give you better range and better picture quality than the original ones. But the original ones will be fine also if you're just doing short range stuff. Yeah, so we'll uh, power everything up, put the battery in. Uh, remember switch your TX on, obviously your transmitter on. Before plugging in the battery, so battery in. As you can hear, the noises from the speed controllers firing up. Uh, plug in your balance lead that comes from the video transmitter. That's the video transmitter plugged in. Just tuck it all in there, but the cable out the little notch I've made. It's a bit of a squeeze, but it does go like so. Cable out there. That way the cable is not getting nipped in the door, and as you can see, so now what we've got, cable, and then you should have a little LED on, on the video transmitter, and that's basically it guys, that's a, it's a pretty basic setup, um, what you do, GoPro switched on, um, if you plug in the battery, now the battery doesn't come supplied with these I don't believe, you've got to order it separately. So plug in the battery to your goggles, that's them, and you probably won't be able to see much, but uh, but there you go, that's the, the screens inside there for your video goggles, and you're now seeing what the GoPro sees. Um, one thing I will say is don't plug in your antenna, uh, don't, sorry, don't switch on your video transmitter or your goggles without the antenna plugged in. The antennas plugged in or screwed on because uh, I do believe you can burn them out, burn out the, the transmitter and the receivers if you do that. Um, another thing is for what I found out today for powering of the video transmitter, there is actually an auxiliary power cable already built into the Phantom. If you look at the front left, um, under the, the landing skid, you'll maybe see two little cables. Now I found out that they're actually 
power output cables, oh sorry, can't really see that, they're power output cables from the main board. So what I've ordered is I've ordered a couple of plugs that are the same as the video transmitter and I'm going to pull that, there's a wee bit extra cable inside the inside the shell, I had the, the cover off today um, and I'm going to pull that out, wire, wire it into a plug and then I'll be able to just, so that, that'll do away with this uh, balance lead, so basically when you plug in your main battery connector your video transmitter will fire up at the same time um, another thing I was saying about this little cable here what that is, I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not is uh, it's a little optical cable um, so you maybe just see it flashing away there, it's a little, what I've done is I've run an, uh, basically an op fibre optic cable I just got one from a spare audio optic cable I had lying around the house uh, stripped out the core of it, um, run it inside to the, the LED uh, one inside and then what that does is it just put the light just it just puts the light down the optic cable into the lens of the camera. This little lens here is just a cover, a lens cover that I got from Rage Cams on eBay. Um, and that just what it does is just you just see the little you, know, you can just see the little pulses of light there. It just means if I'm flying FPV I can actually see just in the corner of the screen on the goggles I can actually see what uh, what the LED is doing so I know what sort of status I'm in, whether I've got a G GPS, good GPS or battery warnings etc etc. Um, and I think that's it boys, uh, like I say it's my first how to so a little bit dodgy, a little bit sketchy but uh, thanks for watching. Um, any questions feel free to ask. Um, I will point out I'm new to this FPV stuff as well. I spent a couple of months researching all this sort of stuff on some of the forums. The main ones being FPV Lab and FPV Hub. I would recommend you do the same if you're wanting to get into FPV. Um, other than that, have fun flying. Uh, like, rate and subscribe. Cheers folks. Ta-da.